Hi guys, welcome to the Alpha 47C unboxing, installation and review. Let's get to it. So we'll be installing this on an OG Razer Panthera. So this is what you get from the box, pretty much everything. The lever itself, the actuator, a dust washer, the shaft, instruction manual, and an e-clip. I also ordered three extra grommets, 245s and 142 to try out later. So this is the main star of this lever. It's the deco switches that have 400 G's of tension. It's a really stiff switch and you can hear just from the clicks. So you need a cable, I bought the wrong one, this is the Korean 8 pin one, you need the .187 harness to use this on a Japanese stick, um, also bought an extra bat top. So this is me trying to make a time lapse on how I put the lever together and failing horribly. So here's just the instruction manual so you can use this as reference. It's pretty much the same damn thing for every lever. So this is what the lever would look like once it's all put together. Obviously, we can't stick it in the stick just as is, so we have to do, disassemble it again and do it the right way. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, we will be using an OG Razer Panthera. As you can see, I've already removed my previous lever. And it shouldn't be that hard. It's just unscrewing and a matter of unplugging the pins and you should be ready to install this new lever. So this is me trying to show you that there's a sticker on the lever itself and you, there's a proper placement of it and the orientation, right? But I kind of messed up on this one. However, I will correct that later on this video, don't worry. So there is a sticker that you might want to peel off. I don't think it necessarily affects how the lever plays, but it's just kind of annoying and I just wanted to peel something off. So I'm basing it off of where uh, the fly part is. So if this is here, you want it to be on this side where this is pressing, right? And what you want to do is uh, in these outer prongs, these parts is where you put the black ground ones in. Uh, directional in, uh, the, the colored ones are outside, black ones are in the top side. And pretty much just do it over until uh, this is fine. And yeah, also a reminder. The sticker part is the top part of is the top part of the lever. So you have to put it right here. Under here? No. Until it like so. So this is me uh, finally installing the whole lever into my stick and this is what happened.
Before everything else, here's the sound check of how the lever sounds. Now that the sound check's done, here's some gameplay footage. Okay, so now in this section of the video, we will be talking about the pros and the cons and who I recommend this lever for. So let's start with the pros. So number one, it is high tension and pretty much no dead zone at all just because of the switches. It really keeps your lever in place. Secondly, I think the responsiveness of the lever, it returns to neutral really fast, faster than any other lever that I've tried so far. The actuation in the diagonal zones of this lever, it's kind of similar to a 309 MJ. So besides the stiff high tension grommet and uh, switch it's using, it's still kind of um, beginner friendly in a way just because you can still hit your diagonals pretty easily. The actuator is pretty much the same size as the stock 309 MJs. Another good thing about this lever is that Movement seems very easy on this. Back dashing, wave dashing, sidestepping, side walking, all of that stuff is super easy on this lever. It takes very minimal effort to do precise movement on this lever, which is a big plus in my opinion. Okay, so for cons, I would say it's really, really tiring to use. The heavy weight of the lever itself it's the first time I've felt, using this lever, it's the first time I've felt actual fatigue from playing Tekken. Wave dashing is great though, but you know, it really takes a toll on you. It does struggle with some characters in Tekken, I guess. Uh, with Shaheen, sneak cancelling for his combos or sneak cancelling in general seems a bit harder to do because of sliding the lever into a different 
uh, diagonal, it sometimes doesn't register if you don't do it farther enough. The throw is normal, it's like pretty much the medium range, but it feels like it's further than it actually is. Lastly, this point actually kind of relates to the first con, and this lever, at least when you're new to it, it's very hard to use in long sets because, well, you get fatigued easier and uh, that might come into play when you're going at it for like a first to ten and maybe halfway through you're already fucking tired. So that is something to keep in mind with this lever if you're not used to high tension ones. So who do I recommend this lever for? I think I recommend this lever for people who generally love high tension levers people who want a Fujin but aren't willing to cut a 35 millimeter hole on their stick this might be a good alternative to that it's not as smooth as the Fujin but it does do the job very well and if you're just looking for raw tension this is the stick to go